Chapter 2 is about CPU functions. Network type CPU looks like this. From the top, there are LEDs indicating CPU status, DIP switches, key switches, USB connector, and RJ45 connector. First LED on the top is Run Stop LED. When the PLC CPU starts to run, green light is turned on. When CPU stops, LED turns red. Second LED is Remote LED and yellow light is turned on when the remote switch is on. So, when its status is normal, the run stop LED is green, and the remote switch LED is yellow. Remote switch should be turned on to control PLC using XG5000 program. If not, users cannot control PLC using XG5000. Third lamp from the top is Error LED. If an error occurs, PLC output is blocked, and user should take action according to an error flag. PLC will also stop as ERR LED is turned on as red. Users can find error details in XG5000 record. Next is Programmable Status LED. It turns on at special occasions, such as when user defined flag is on, or PLC running in erroneous status by operation in error status setting. It also turns on when removing the module or installing other module with module exchange switch on. Next is battery LED. It turns red in the case of low battery voltage. User needs to change battery in advance, because if PLC is left with power off for a certain period time, program will be deleted. Lastly, check LED is turned on if something needs to be checked. For example, it turns on if module change switch is set, if operating in debug mode, if forcible on setting, if fault mask skip flag is set, if warning occurs during operation, or if in case power of fault extension base. It does not mean PLC is stopped just because the CHK LED is on. Error stops PLC where CHK LED shows the cause for the error. Next are switches. Remote switch helps remotely controlling the operation of PLC from PC. When the switch is moved to the right, all remote functions are enabled, but when it's moved to the left, remote function is disabled. When it's moved to the left, monitoring and data change are allowed. However, program download, operation mode control are limited. Module exchange switch is used to replace a module during PLC run mode. When it's moved to the right, users can replace a module without stopping PLC. However, users need to move it back to the left side when the replacement is completed. Switches below are run stop mode switch and reset data clear switch. Run Stop Mode Switch sets the operation mode of the CPU module. By moving the switch from Stop to Run, it will execute program, and when the switch is moved from Run to Stop, the program will stop. However, the Run Stop switch works prior to remote switch control. So, in order for user to operate PLC to stop or to run using XG5000, the run stop switch should be on stop and remote switch should be on. The last switch is reset data clear switch. You can enable or disable the reset data clear switch in XG5000 basic parameter setting. When reset switch is moved to the left, and return to center, it means reset. However, when the switch is moved to the left and kept for three seconds or more, 
Before returning to center, it means overall reset. As well as the reset switch, it works the same with data clear. When it's moved to the right and returned to center, it means that general data area and retain area will be cleared. When it's moved to the right and kept for three seconds or more before returning to center, it means general data area, retain area, and R area will be all cleared. Right below the switches, there is a USB connector. It is a connector for XG5000. Network type CPU has an Ethernet connector. Users can connect with XG5000 or use this port as TCP IP server. Users need to be aware that this can only serve as server.